obviously, especially if this is the first time that you're building a company, uh, it won't be super easy to know who you should be reaching out to. Uh, but fortunately, I, for, I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, the amount of people you can reach out to is actually quite small. So I think there are two types of people that you should be thinking about when you're uh, not yet fundraising, but thinking that you'll be fundraising in the next six to 12 months. And the two people, two types of people you, be, you should be thinking about are one, angel investors that are industry experts. So when I say industry, I don't necessarily mean uh, people who are working in the exact same vertical. So typically, I don't know if you're, um, if you're a company that's making it easier to buy shares in buildings, so like you're technically a real estate company, but that you're, look, you're targeting retail investors and you want to have a super slick uh, investor experience, then maybe you need some people who are really good with product and design, right? And so you should be speaking to some real estate people, but also to some product and design people. And one of the great things about the tech industry is that a lot of the people who invest also spend a lot of time writing content or doing events like the one that we're doing right now. And so by going on places like Twitter, it's quite easy to find out um, the people who are relevant in your field and then just reaching out to them. If you produce interesting content, they might even reach out to you. So that's the first type of people I think you should be reaching out to, angel investors who are uh, industry experts or who have some form of expertise that's very relevant to the product you're building or the audience you're targeting. The second type of people that you should be reaching out to are local uh, early state investors, so usually local uh, seed funds. And the reason why you should be reaching out to those is that um, their job, so like the job especially of the junior people, is to make sure they don't miss a single deal in the region. And so if you send a, a nice, proper, informative, cold email to them uh, describing what you're building, where you're currently at, what your needs are, what your questions are, more often than not, they'll respond. And more often than not, they'll take a quick call with you. And then if the call goes well, then you can have these sort of regular catch-ups with them. Uh, and, and the reason it's a good idea to go to those isn't necessarily that that local seed fund is the most uh, is the best investor for your actual round. But there are two reasons. One is that on a cultural level, they might be one of the best fits. And the second is that usually these local seed funds are connected to higher quality funds in different regions. And so if they end up being interested in your round and you find a way for them to participate, they might help you reach out to those better funds outside. 